Germany. So show you for netbooknews.com. I'm still at the Asus booth of CBIT uh, 2010. And uh, we've got another next generation iron platform over here. Uh, the EPC HD 1201PN. That's the one. And that's the second generation of the of the NVIDIA iron chipset. Um, it's running on the Pine Trail platform, that means Intel Atom N450, and it's using the Optimus technology. So that's a switchable, uh, dedicated graphic that's only kicking in when you really need it. Something that we already saw during Mobile World Congress on the Acer Aspire 1, uh, 532G, I guess that was the name. Um, the design itself um, is pretty much the same as the one we saw on all the other um, 1200 series from uh, Asus. So uh, let's take a quick look around the system. There's a VGA out. Uh, we have a PSU connector, USB 2.0 here. Um, nothing HDMI. on the front. We missed the HDMI. Oh, where's the HDMI? I'm sorry. There's an HDMI, exactly. Thank you, Joanna. Um, there's nothing on the front. A couple of status LEDs. And we have a 41 card reader here. Uh, there's a USB 2.0, jacks for a headset, microphone, another USB 2.0 and an Ethernet cable and the Kensington key lock, which is not really working, so I can't grab this one now. No, I won't do this. Six cell battery, I guess. 12.1 inch display, 1280 by 800 the resolution, 160 by hard disk drive. It's running on Windows 7 right now. And yeah, as I said, it's uh, the next generation of the NVIDIA Iron platform uh, using the Optimus technology. So, pretty decent system. But actually, this should be the one that is using the ships at uh, the GPU with more shaders than the one that we saw on the Acer. So, there are two different versions of the next generation iron. Um, uh, because Nvidia put a limitation on the, on, the, on the screen size on it. So, up to 10 inch or 10.2 inch, you can only use the slower one. That's the faster one. Eight cores. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so. Eight cores? Eight CUDA cores. Okay, there you go. So that's the faster version. On the EPC uh, 1201 PM, um, pretty decent uh, system. I can't wait to benchmark it. Actually, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. So uh, that was Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.